Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of Intuitive Angling. And man, I really appreciate you guys making some time out of your busy day to, to check Intuitive Angling out. Definitely grateful for that. And today, guys, I'm going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite lures, the old beetle spin. And I can't believe I've never done a video on this before, guys. I have caught so many good bass on a beetle spin over the years. I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on, on how to fish it and where to fish it and when it's really productive. So we'll get into that here. And don't discount it. If you guys are hardcore anglers and you're thinking, oh, God, I don't want to hear a video about a beetle spin. Guys, I'm telling you right now, this beetle spins will catch good fish. They will. So I'll tell you when, when that is here. So real quick guys, just a couple of the uh, daily housekeeping tips here we got to do to keep the lights on. Just wanted to remind everybody if you haven't had a chance to uh, please uh, check out our summer lake map breakdowns at Fish the Moment. I'll put the uh, lake map breakdown uh, in the description. If you guys are struggling to find some good spots on your favorite lakes, uh, this is the deal for you. It's, we give you 40 GPS waypoints, tips and advice how to fish each spot, and if you're Lakey Fish isn't on our website. You can book a virtual lesson with me and we can go over any lake in the country or talk about fishing or whatever. So I'll put both links in the description of this video. Okay, guys, I'll tell you my story of the fir my first beetle spin experiences and then I'll tell you a little bit of a, a tips and advice with it. Um, back when I was in high school, a couple friends of mine that I went to school with, their parents had a trailer house on Grand Lake and we would go down there um, when the water was low and we would walk the bank uh, in the back part of this major creek here and we would throw beetle spins, usually just a white beetle spin like this, um, on those bare muddy rocky banks out there in the fall time of the year when the water was low. And guys, we caught a lot of two and a half to four pound bass on the beetle spin. It was like unbelievable how good they would bite it. And I saw after seeing that, I started taking it to farm ponds, to creeks. I started taking it to some tournaments I went to uh, when I got in the right situation. So I wanna talk a little bit about the right situation to fish it. Um, first of all, guys, there, there, there's two different colors. This isn't one of the colors I fish. This thing has actually been in an old tackle box forever. But the two best colors for a beetle spin are a white one or a black one. Those are the really the only two you need to need. And I probably caught more on the white one than any of them out there. The, the white one has a, it's white and she has a black strap down the, stripe down the back. And usually I'll, this is the size that I'll have right here. I can't even remember the size, but it's got a probably a little number three Colorado on it like this. Um, just a, about the perfect size of like a little minnow. So the time that the beetle spin works good, obviously it's when fishing is a little bit tough and on lakes that are known to be a little bit tough. That's when it excels. This isn't really a bait you wanna throw like on a big fish lake or something like that. Not that you couldn't catch them on it, but as far as the bass, um, tough fisheries are gonna be more productive with this. <clears throat> Beetle spin will catch everything too. It'll catch anything in the lake, not just bass. But the best time to fish it by far from what I found is in the, is in the late summer and the fall time of the year when they draw the lake down. Now, normally what happens is the lake levels fluctuate based upon, you know, just temporary weather patterns that are going through. But normally by um, like August, water starts to get hot, the uh, lakes start to fall a little bit. And a lot of times in September and October, you have some of the lowest lake levels of, of the year of, of, at the time. Now, what happens when you have a combination of warm water and uh, lower oxygen contents and uh, water that's low, warm water, low water, stuff like that, it really, really makes the bass, you know, dormant to a certain extent. Those aren't real conducive to, you know, good fishing conditions. But for me, the beetle spin excels when you have warm water, you've got low water, and you've got water visibility that's anywhere between, I'm going to say six inches to maybe a foot and a half. I like it in off-colored water. This, even though it's, you think this is a finessey little bait, I haven't done very good in clear water with it. I catch a lot of fish in dirty water. The beetle spin has a Colorado blade on it. It doesn't come with a willow leaf. So most of the times that I've done the best in it is probably about, you know, like I said, six inches to 12 inches of visibility. It's awesome with that when those fish are really shallow. And what happens is in the fall time of the year, when the water drops, a lot of, you know, traditional thinking, you would think a lot of the fish would move deeper under those conditions. And if you have clear water, they will. But if you have a lake that has off-colored water and it's falling, 
it actually is sort of a paradox. It'll drive those fish shallow in the fall time of the year and they're feeding on small bait because what happens is these shad start spawning in the springtime of the year and they spawn all summer. So in the fall time of the year, you have a lot of little tiny shad, like shad that are a half inch to an inch long and the beetle spin mimics that perfect. It doesn't put out a lot of bright vibration, doesn't put out a lot of flash. It's a very subtle bait, yet it has enough vibration and flash to attract fish from a distance in a little bit off colored water. Now, the, the thing that makes a beetle spin really excel is its size, because what happens is when those fish get in shallow off colored water, they are very, very, they're, they're super spooky because a lot of times in the low water, there's no cover for them to relate to. They're just up cruising that shallow water in the off-colored water, just looking for food, looking for perch, minnows, crawdads, or whatever. And you can't have a bait that displaces a lot of water. They just won't bite it. A big a fish in the fall time of the year will not usually bite a big bait super shallow, unless it's something maybe like there's a whopper plopper bite or something like that but they will bite a little thing like a beetle spin right here. There's just something about it, it'll catch them. So anyway, guys, don't discount this. I mean, even though you, if you've never thrown one, just go to the store, get you some white beetle spins, eighth ounce size, this size here, you know, put it on, you know, eight pound test, uh, you know, four carbon line, just a seven foot spinning rod and just toss it around some of that shallow water. I mean, if you're, if you're getting some bites, shallow cranking or whatever like that, put your beetle spin on, I can promise you they don't see it very much anymore. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, you can catch some good fish on it. So hope it helps out, guys. We'll talk later. See you.